Okay, we're talking about transformers and thermostats and low voltage problems. With the transformer, you have the wattage of the transformer, a 30 VA, a 40 VA, or a 75 VA transformer. If you divide that by the output voltage, you'll get your amperage that that transformer is good for. And I'm seeing a 30 VA for a standard furnace or maybe a 40, a 75 VA for an air handler. You can see that these numbers here are a lot smaller than the fuse size. The fuse on these guys is about a 3 amp. That's because of inrush current, so it can handle that inrush. But if I got a short circuit or an overloaded condition, and I'm somewhere between the amp draw of the transformer and the fuse protection, I could actually burn out that transformer without blowing the fuse. So in those issues, we're going to want to put in a push-button reset transformer and come to the thermostat location and energize one circuit at a time, try to figure out which circuit has given us that overload condition. As we pull off the thermostat, you notice this one has an issue right away. I've got a hole behind it. That's where drafts, you can see the dirt buildup. Anytime you're seeing dirt buildup behind the thermostat, that means it's breathing. There's air moving in and out, and we want to stop that. We want to plug that hole so that doesn't happen, so it doesn't affect the cycle rate. Years ago, we'd have a meter that with jumper wires, and we'd go to the set screws on the sub-base of the thermostat. But now with the smaller electronics, I can no longer do that because I can't get in those pin connections to make that happen. Pick yourself up a meter that will read amps. So we moved from the voltage position to the amperage position. This has got a 10 amp scale. I put it on the 10 amps. And this is now a jumper wire. I can actually turn things on. I go from R to G, R to Y, R to O. As I jumper each one of those on, it's going to give me a reading of the amp draw of that circuit. As we check with an amp meter, we'll put the amp meter in series with the load. So if I jumper from R to Y, my compressor comes on. You can see that I'm pulling 0.21 amps. You can use your meter as a jumper and you can read amps and troubleshoot that circuit.